Hebe. 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 God himself loves the awaiting. Hebe. 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 When he performed the first wedding ceremony in the Garden of Eden. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. The Bible reads. God said. It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. So he had to go into the theater. Let Adam into a deep sleep. And he worked on one of the ribs near the heart. And he formed a, a beautiful figure. I tell you, women were made properly. Just look at their noses. Well played. Wow, men are from the original material. Our noses. Cats cannot be straight. Then I'm the way we were created, we were created for honor. You know, you could never When a woman threatens you, now into they make you laugh because the more they threaten you, the more laughter their faces appear. You know, when we go on the put our say, what was say? God made both man and woman. No, let's go in the morning. I'm gonna go see in such a way that neither is quite complete without the other. It would tell you, you know, we will go. The creator made it from Adam's tree. You know, you will lend you what I think ever was over on Adam. To teach us these three very important lessons. Number one, it was taken from his side. For woman was to be neither above nor beneath. But to stand by the side of man. It doesn't help even when you are moving as a couple in town, one is ahead, the other one. Ten meters away. Even if your wife is ugly, it doesn't work out. That. And if you are having ugliness of your wife, why did you propose her in the first place? Maybe you are adopting the ugliness your neighbors are talking about. Remember the first woman you love. She is the very one. Lesson number two. The rib was from under his arm. For she was to be protected by him. The weaker man's hand is the left one. You know, and it's under the left arm where the rib was taken. You know, and it's where the woman should stand. You know, allowing the right arm to protect her from all the enemies. And the man has it. Bloss. Don't play with his wife. You will only resurrect him the much as three. It was taken from near his heart. For she was to be loved by him. Thus it was that Jesus quoted in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 5. For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother. 
Kamuna je juma rumi yamusi ya boi sarima vanyina. And be joined to his wife. Akali swanga nye kumuwe nitu wabwe. And the two shall become one flesh. Kino aru wabile ba yakuba nyama yomwe. And it is in this holy estate of matrimony that these two persons present now come to be joined. You know, the Bible puts it very clear that the man leaves the parents. You know, Bible that the man leaves the parents. You know, the 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 while on the other side is also the woman who leads her parents. He's particularizing the man leading the parents because it's the parents of the man that are troubleshooters in the marriage of their son. Kambo, if you even come with your booty, you might have even some more to my pensy. When it comes to marriage, I will use the Titanic word. Then don't I tell you when you get here? Ten ten. Bong 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 wakia. When it comes to marriage, ten ten. Wasi ya umanga naaji kwa tukutibi o ten ten. Let the God only marries two. Let's have it ke. Ah, wa watu nye mobile. You may have friends and acquaintances. Nga mochi si ibe nyongo alimu awa ibe. But when it comes to marriage issues, no one is allowed to meet. This is now the time of vows. This is the period they have been so careful in life not to miss. But don't have each other. This is the time of vows with you. Do you ceremonially promise before God and this witness to be to her in shy or in shut, in gain or in loss, in trial or in triumph, in sickness or in health, for better, for worse, and keep yourself unto her as long as you both shall live according to God's holy ordinance. If you so declare, repeat the I do powerfully. I do. Priska Seneni, we need a powerful I do. I do. Yeah, we, we continue. Do you ceremony promise before God and these witnesses to be to him a faithful, loving wife in the sunshine? Or in shut, in the gain or in loss, in the trial or in triumph, in the sickness or in health, for better for worse, and keep yourself unto Him as long as you both shall live according to God's holy ordinance. Do you? I do. Yeah. You please, Castaneda, have taken these pledges of affection and vows of fidelity. I, a minister of the gospel, being authorized by the word of God and the laws of this nation of Zambia, do hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. And declare the word of God giving me sex and everlasting signature. And the signature goes as follows. What God has joined together, let no man put us under. And our Savior, honor and glory be to your holy name. Thank you in the first place that you are awarding us with traveling messages. Shows that we did not travel alone. To where we are each and everyone travel. And here we come with the multitude of witnesses escorting clever and Prisca. After they have been declared husband and wife, we come prostrate before your holy presence. In the name of Jesus, to ask the power and the goodness of the original marriage to be declared on 
this new couple. You originated marriage. May that original marriage be the one they have entered into. In the case, in the course of their relationship, the evil one may have gotten into, I plead forgiveness. Not only for this new couple, but for every couple present. That as you join these permanent you may also rejoin the old couples needing the oil presence. Amen. I plead on, on my own behalf, on behalf of Clever and Priska, as they start their new life as a couple. May your hands, wounded for our transgression, be set on both of them and declare them join permanent. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. May that also happen to every couple present, whether single-hearted or in spirit is possible to be two people of present. We hand over now the proceedings from henceforth into your hands. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tired as we are to fall without your hands. <laughs>